I'm excited about the opportunity to have an expansion of the Salt Palace in conjunction with this convention hotel that will attract tens of thousands of additional tourists and convention delegates every year to the state of Utah. A bill to expand the Salt Palace and build an adjacent hotel in downtown Salt Lake City may have an impact on tourism throughout the entire state of Utah. House Speaker Becky Lockhart, Senator Stuart Adams, and Representative Brad Wilson are showing off a new idea for an interactive video wall to be built inside of the proposed hotel's lobby. Welcome to Utah, home of five This Extend Your Stay, this Experience Utah program that we're combining with this bill, with the Convention Hotel, uh, will absolutely uh, benefit individuals throughout the state because visitors will come back and experience Utah and stay in other places like uh, San Pete County or uh, like Kane County, places like that. If the concept involves a huge video Cap, wall playing continuous images highlighting Wayne, unique events and opportunities in towns and classes. cities throughout the state the and kiosks with touchscreens so visitors to Utah can enter the dates of their travel and their interests and a map or calendar will pinpoint all the sites they might like to visit. For example, if someone is interested in outdoor recreation or opportunities for families, dates and directions will appear on the touchscreen, as well as supplemental video showcasing the many sites and events that Utah has to offer. I see us marrying this concept of Experience Utah with technology and the tools we have very easily and hopefully uh, very soon. The technology could expand beyond the video wall and kiosks to a website and an app that will direct visitors as they travel, with GPS indicating the distance a specific attraction is from their current location. It would be like having a personal concierge with you on your trip, accessible through your smartphone. The proposal to be considered by lawmakers would not fund construction of the convention hotel. The hotel would be privately built, owned, and operated. The taxes tourists pay as they visit the hotel would help fund the convention center expansion and the technology. Uh, once someone comes and stays in the convention hotel, uh, we will rebate the sales tax portion uh, that the state receives back to the uh, convention hotel, which will allow the convention hotel to actually pay for the expansion of that convention space, the, the meeting space in the Salt Palace. Yeah, there's actually no risk to the taxpayer in this because if the new facility fails, the private developer is who uh, fails, not the state. More convention space and an adjacent hotel with rooms to accommodate large groups like the Outdoor Retailers Association would make Utah a more attractive site for convention planners and attendees. Visitors will be able to see all Utah has to offer and just might want to spend a few extra days here or plan a return trip with their families. It's a progressive and potentially profitable design to benefit all Utahns. So this is a really fun project uh, for us to think about. Uh, not only do we see the benefits that will cascade across the state, uh, showing off the great assets we have here in Utah and the great destinations, but uh, this is something we desperately need. This is your chance to experience Utah. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.